Okay, so let's look at radicals. Radicals are also known as or polyatomic ions. Radicals are also known as polyatomic ions. And here, it's not a radical, you know, uh, maybe, what? Well, <laughs> radicals are a group of atoms with a charge. A group of atoms with a single charge. A group of atoms with a single charge. That's radical. A group of atoms. Now we have learned cations and anions. That cations plus plus plus. Anions minus minus minus. Now we can have a group of atoms coming together and bonding with also a charge. A few of them are OH minus. Now, if you look at OH minus, O is oxygen and H is hydrogen. They can, oxygen as an entity has a charge of two minus. Remember the configuration has two and then certainty, it will accept two, that's like two minus. Then hydrogen as a whole has just a plus one. You get it? Hydrogen has plus one. So, once they come together, once they come together as a radical, you are going to get these charges coming together as a negative two, then plus one. So you realize that there will be another negative charge. So it will be like this. And this is what will be here. So oxygen is Two minus, you know the charge because of the two, cons, cons, two and then six, and it is not stable, so it will accept two here. So when it accepts, it becomes two minus. Now hydrogen is group one. We will talk about groups, but hydrogen has a charge of plus one. Now, once it's plus one, and you add the charge, a negative plus this, you realize that there will be a negative one, and this negative one will become the will become the resulting charge when they form the radical come together as. O H minus. So this is the charge. And this and this ah, possess this charge. And this one is called hydroxyl. You can have and numerous of them. You can have CO3 2 minus. We can have SO4 2 minus. And this is called carbonate. This is called sulfate. We can have PO4. 3 minus. This is called phosphate. Now, you can you can have it as ATE, ATE, ATE. When an atom combines with oxygen, that is where we have these names coming up. So here, carbon can form a compound with three of the oxygens here. You get it and existing as iron so that's why it's called carbonate here is sulfur sulfate here is phos phosphorus phosphate take note there's actually a trick i have a very easy way to get this to get this formula a very easy way to get this formula i'll teach you but so here the charge in carbonate is two minus the charge in sulfate is two minus the charge in phosphate is 3 minus. And this PO4, so the 3 minus here is for phosphorus at the same time for oxygen. So take note that we have this 3 here. Carbon. Carbonate. So this is carbonate. Carbon and oxygen. Carbon is bonded to three oxygen atoms, and the resulting charge from this bond is two minus. And this one is for all of them. We also have nitrate. Nitrate is three minus. Sorry, NO3 minus. So take note that 
these are what you call radicals now when you reduce the number of oxygen in the trait or the eighth atom in the eighth radical it becomes trite so this one <coughs> will be nitrite this is sulfur if you reduce the number of oxygen by one <coughs> so4 sorry 3 2 minus it will be called sulfite because of the ite if you reduce this by one that's po3 the charge is called for we will come to all this but just pay attention that these ones are called radicals and then and radicals are a group of atoms having a single charge now let's look at the trick to get to to write this once this radicals easily we have so as we are looking at the radicals um there's actually a trick um, a small short trick that i use to get to the radicals and i want to show you and this is it um nick the camel at supper supper in pa ta si nick <laughs> nick the camel at supper in patasi so um we have actually explained the radical that once the the atoms a group of atoms come together and possess a charge they are radicals so of course and here our nick camel sapa and patase our n is the nitrogen and our c is carbon and our s is sulfur and p of course is phosphorus now we need this one we, we first have to look at the vowels and our vowels are a e i o u these are our vowels so our first element in nick is nitrogen when nitrogen reacts with oxygen the maximum number of oxygen becomes nitrate so here the number of consonants represent the number of oxygen so here the consonants are one two and three so we have three oxygens this way three now the charge is the vowel so the charge here is one that's the vowel one so this is minus one so this is what you call nitrate easy then when you go to the camel the camel the c in the camel of course is carbon so our c here is carbon now the number of oxygen atoms there is determined by the number of consonants in the camel so c m e that's three so three oxygens like this and then the number of vowels there they are just two a and e so that, that's the charge so this is two minus and this one is called carbonate 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 very important keep in mind then when you go to the supper of course our s is sulfur now the number of consonants are s this this and then that is four so it is oxygens are four here and the number of vowels there is u and then e so that's a charge that's like two minus and this one is called sulfate when we go to the patase <laughs> when we go to the patase our p is phosphorus so our p is already there then our consonant you have one two three four so four oxygen atoms here like a four and then the number of vowels are a a and e three so three minus and this is what we call fourth phosphate so this is a very beautiful trick to help you have the radicals nitrate sulfate phosphate carbonate at your fingertips because this 
forms the basis of chemical reactions. So once you know how to write these formulas, you are way ahead. It's been another interesting edition of Science with Ajese. I believe you learned something new and I believe you are, taking, you, are, you are jotting down the important things to help you carry on as we build the foundation together. Um, catch you same time next week. Chill out there.